Lewis Hamilton unhappy with F1 chiefs for track changes at Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. Lewis Hamilton can't understand why the FIA made some of the changes they have for this weekend's Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. Branded as the world's fastest street circuit, the 2021 Saudi Arabian Grand Prix proved to be a hit with many fans for its high-speed layout. But the Jeddah Corniche circuit also resulted in some safety concerns with a few drivers complaining of a lack of visibility in places. Max Verstappen famously crashed at the final corner for his final Q3 lap 2, which ultimately cost him a chance of taking pole. And the race itself was overshadowed by a number of high-profile moments, including Verstappen and Hamilton colliding in their battle for the lead. Two red flags were shown along with four virtual safety car periods and race officials confirmed recently that changes would be made to several corners to help improve safety standards. At turns 2, 3, 14 and 21, the barriers have been moved back slightly to help improve visibility. The track has also been widened from 10.5 meters to 12 meters at the final corner. But Hamilton can't understand why the FIA wanted to change too much from what he thought was a good track. I don't actually know all the changes, I know there was a change at the last corner, Hamilton said. They didn't need to change the last corner because the last corner was great. I don't know why they would change that. We didn't need more visibility. I hope they haven't changed too much that takes away from what the track was. The Jeddah Corniche circuit is the second longest race in the 2021 calendar at 6.175 kilometers long, just 800 meters shorter than the length spa track. There was an average qualifying speed of 253 km per hour last year and the 27 corners are the most of any Formula 1 track. The Bahrain Grand Prix highlighted several cars dealing with porpoising problems, but many drivers believe that was partly due to the old track surface. Saudi Arabia has a much fresher surface with fewer bumps in the road, suggesting porpoising won't be as big of an issue this time around.